What's happening, Big Veil Zero Two viewers? I'm gonna show y'all my LED retro fit desk lamp, nightstand lamp, whatever you want to call it. Now it's a standard 40 watt lamp. It takes a standard 40 watt bulb. Um, plugs into your household outlet. Runs off electricity. You pay your bill every month for it. I'm guessing you probably pay a little bit to charge a battery as well. But I mean. Like, it's just something I wanted to do. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all how I made it. Um, I basically took a regular toy car battery and um, just spliced the lines. Kept all the wire, you know, kept the wiring size the same, same gauge. Um, I got the positive and negative, both marked. Um, left the charger on there. I'm going to eventually put a cover on it so it doesn't get all dirty. Um wire stayed the same and what I have here is just uh just some connectors I made and if you want the names of these connectors you could definitely email me and I'll well you could just message me on YouTube and I'll definitely get the information to you um the reason I don't have an inline fuse on this is because it comes with the internal self resetting fuse um this battery comes from a kid's toy. Once again, I can inbox you the information. I ain't trying to advertise on here. Um, and you can see from that normal gauge wiring, this is a regular 6 volt battery at 9.5 amps per hour. Um, I figured I could control the voltage a little better just by stepping down the gauge of the wire and, you know, keeping it a nice length, you know, for, you know, just the purpose of um, dropping that voltage down. And then what I did was I went and got some regular LED flashlights. You know, I cut the heads on them and, you know, mounted them to the sides of this lamp. Let me get you a better look at it. You know, it's just something simple. Some crap I had laying around. I really wasn't trying to spend any money. I can actually go and get some LED panels and do it the right way. But, like I said, just a simple retrofit. I'm not trying to really get, you know, all, if, all off into it. But I can, I'll be showing some future videos of that. But for now, I just want to keep it simple. And uh, like I said, I got everything marked positive, negative. If I'm not mistaken, uh, the positive was, I'm trying to remember. Well, actually, and when you, if you ever do disassemble a flashlight, just look at the way the battery pack goes in. And I'm more than sure the polarity is on there for you, so you know. And the actual case of the flashlight is the, I believe it's the negative side of the um, the the diodes. But anyway, there it is for you. I'm gonna go on and light it up. Close the curtain so you can kind of see the light. I mean, it's sunny outside, so you know it's kind of defeating the purpose. But I'm more than sure you can see just how intense it is and like I said it's almost time for a charge on the battery but it still shows pretty good and the actual switch I'm using is the head of the flashlight I know you can hear the little clicky click it's the head of the flashlight and I mean I fell asleep with this thing on and woke up the next morning and you know still shining just as bright you know everything's fine so I consider that a successful retrofit and uh, like I said I've been using this battery for quite a while um, that's pretty much it and once the, the battery you know starts to show wear I go out on and put on the charger and we'll be right back at it again and if I get tired of it I can always take the stuff back I can take the LED set back out and run off the regular light and as you can see I don't know if you can see the reflection of the actual lights, but that's it. No, oh, yeah, there it is. You can actually see them right there. And like I said, it really shines the room up very bright. And you can kind of see the size of this room. I mean, it's it's not a small room, but it's not really big. But that's pretty much it. All right. Thanks for watching. Any questions? Just hit me on the inbox. Peace.